Hello and welcome to the Clarinet Companion course. Uh, we are on to our third video lesson. Um, in our previous lessons we learned to put the clarinet together safely and then we talked about soaking and applying the reed onto the mouthpiece and how the, how the reed works on the mouthpiece. Today we're going to look at the first three notes uh, that we can play on the clarinet. But first let's look at how we hold the clarinet. The clarinet sits on our right thumb here and for the moment that's all the right hand is going to do. You want to hold the clarinet in such a way that the right hand fingers lift off the keys. Now it's important they don't sit on the keys because you won't get the correct notes to sound if you do that. They have to lift off the keys. Also don't hit any of the side keys here. Just hold the clarinet weight like that. The left hand thumb sits at a 45 degree angle on the hole at the back. There. Now it's important that the thumb seals the hole. So you get the fatty part of your thumb actually onto the hole. There mustn't be any gaps. Our left hand finger comes over the top and goes onto the top hole like so. And that's the first note. It's called the note E. To get the next note going down we add the next finger on the next hole and then the next one down is the next one. So that's an E going down onto D, going down onto C. Another thing to note is as we go down we don't lift the other fingers off. If you play the piano a lot of pianists go to play the clarinet and they try and go down the clarinet like this because they're used to lifting your fingers on and off. Don't do that, you have to seal all the holes as you go down. So we get E, then down onto D and then down onto C and each hole must be sealed clearly, properly. Now we touched on forming the embouchure to make the first notes. So being careful of where you put the reed. Remember from our last lesson you don't want to hit anywhere around here. If you must look at your fingers, turn the clarinet around sideways away from you so you can look at your finger going down. When you're actually playing you can't see your fingers. You have to do this by feel. It's possible to do it in front of a mirror. You'll get a better idea of what you're doing if you stand in front of a mirror and you'll be able to see your fingers with what they're doing. Now. Remember to form the embouchure, we open our mouth in an ah position, bottom lip slightly over the bottom teeth, like that, place the reed on to the bottom lip, so, top teeth onto the mouthpiece, about a centimetre onto the mouthpiece. You might find you want a little bit further on or a little bit less, depends on your mouthpiece, but generally that's about, about how far on you want to get, like so. And then we want to think R and E at the same time, like so. You notice this, this, the, the, the bottom chin is stretched, R, E, like so, and close down the top lips. Now, this can take quite a long time to master this, this whole process correctly, so don't worry too much if some of it's not quite right. The most important thing to get is the bottom lip, I think. Always the bottom lip. When I form my embouchure you'll see there's two little pink triangles at either side. Now this means I'm not swallowing my bottom lip. You don't want your whole bottom lip inside your mouth like that. Equally you don't want too much bottom lip out. So we want to be careful where the bottom lip lies. Top teeth on the mouthpiece. Close the lips round. Think ah. And a nice firm breath, a nice firm blow of air. Now, if this doesn't work for you, the two main things that can be wrong is, and the, the one that almost always happens, is that people get too near the tip and then the reed won't vibrate properly and you'll either get something like this, where you're struggling to get the air through the mouthpiece, or you won't get any sound at all because you've closed the reed off. You can also do this by biting too much. If you think E yeah, and you bite down between your teeth, that will close. And if you remember from our last lesson, if that closes, the reed won't vibrate. If the reed vibrates, it won't vibrate. You won't get any sound. So, once we have that, we can add the second finger down. And then add the third finger down. Okay. 
There are, if you visit the website www.clarinetcompanion.com, you will find more detailed instructions about this and there's plenty of photographs uh, to help you get this right. <laughs>